cat. Where do you go? Set the locking lever to the straight position. Using the pump, set the pins into the out position. Set the rotor brake to the locked position. Move to the breaker cabinet. Read and confirm the schematics. Rotate the breaker knob to the open position. Grab the multimeter. You now need to perform a hot cold hot test on the breaker. Using the multimeter, test the hot side. Test the cold side of the breaker. Retest the hot side. Move to the hydraulic system. Release pressure from position 26. Do you want me to just follow you around? Okay. Normally you would wait 15 minutes in order for the system to depressurize. For this training we'll assume that time has passed. Enter the hub. For this training you can access the hub using the red button. Okay. Right now? Release the pressure from blade B using needle valve 85 on the pushing box. To my left? I'm looking at you. Again. You would normally wait 15 minutes in order for the system to depressurize. For this training we'll assume that time has passed. Disconnect the prop valve. Using the ratchet on your tool belt, unscrew the prop valve. Remove the faulty prop before installing the replacement prop valve. Confirm the seals using the ratchet. Secure the new prop valve with the Allen screws. Close needle valve 85. Return to the hydraulic station using the red button. Close needle valve 26. Move to the breaker cabinet. Remove the lock. Set the breaker to the... Move to the other side of the breaker cabinet. Yep. Open the cabinet doors to access the... Go to the HMI screen to perform a pitch blade test on blade B. Go... Go back to the home... Yeah. Go to the tools and test the screen. Apply in your Go to the Pitch the blade from 90 degrees to 70 degrees to make sure the prop valve is functioning properly. <laughs> 